Hello, I'm Dr. Mahua and we are discussing expected value of risk. That is, we are now going to describe risk and we will try to quantify risk. That was our first matter to discuss how to quantify risk. So now as we were discuss, uh, let us refer to an uh, example that there is an oil exploration um, company and there are two options for the oil exploration company that when it goes with a new project, it will get an oil or it will not get an oil. So if we consider that uh, its uh, share with oil, with receive of oil, it gets rupee, its share, price of the share will go up to rupees 400 per share. And let us assume that with the failure, that is without oil, its share will drip down to rupees 200. Suppose from 250, it will drip down to 200. Now the question is this. What is the risk? How do you measure that risk of risk of the uh, or the value of the share with this entire uncertain situation? So now for that we have got a technique by or we have got a methodology by which we have to do. So that's what we have. Uh, the, but the question is this. Let us for example we say that the uh, uh, and for this uh, this entire measuring quantifying risk we need to bring a terminology that is called probability. That is probability which says that it will happen or the probable outcome. That is the likelihood that the outcome will occur. So there is a likelihood that you will get an oil or there is a likelihood that you will not get an oil. If you toss a coin there is a likelihood that you will get a head or it is a likelihood that you will get a Take. So it depends. If you uh, uh, have got a uh, cards, uh, uh, and then there is a likelihood of getting any colors, one by fifty-two. That is any one of the colors, any one spades or diamond or heart or lead, anything it might occur. So that is the probability which explains the likelihood of the outcome. That what is the probability that or the what is the chance of getting an outcome? So it is. Uh, Quantifyly, it is said that the probability of occurring the uh, con uh, concept of all the um, uh, probability of all the events will be obviously will be equals to 1. So now, uh, if it is a 2 occurrence, then half and half is the probability that there is a probability of half uh, getting a chance of a tail is half, then head is also half. So this is the way that 1 minus whatever probability we get, uh, we have for the occurrence, the the result will be the probability of the non-occurrence. So 1 minus the probability of occurrence is equal to the probability of non-occurrence. So this is something which is always equals to unity. The probability of occurrence and the probability plus probability of non-occurrence is equals to always 1. So that is something which is, is always equals to unity because we need to go into some final decision and the situation we are all working on uncertainty. So we need to quantify and to quantify you need to settle down somewhere. You need to have a base point. You need to have a st standard in which the entire variability will be measured. So with this agenda in our mind, so we have considered that the probability of the uh, events will be always equals to 1, the summation. So now, next the question is this, so as to come back to that example which we are talking about the oil exploration, let us for example consider that um, the probability of the success is that 1 fourth, 1 fourth is suppose the probability of the success. Ah, okay. And let us assume that the probability of the success will give us a 400 rupees per share. So what will be the probability of failure? 1 minus 1 by 4 is the probability of failure. So it will be 3 by 4. And let us assume that the probability of the, with the probability of the failure, the um, share price will drip down to 200 rupees. That's what we have assumed. So it, so how do we find out what will be finally the, with the expected values? What will be the expected value or which is called the weighted average uh, of the payoff associated with all possible outcomes that is that is the weighted average of or the weighted average of the payoff matter what are the expected incomes payoff here is 400 and 200 of all possible outcome all possible outcome here we have got two possible outcome either we get oil or we don't get oil so this way we all when we can uh, add up all the possible outcomes with the uh, the aggregate average of all the possible outcomes with the possible uh, with the probabilities then we get the expected values of this entire uncertain situation or we measure that uh, risk we quantify that risk with a 
with the probability so if we consider that um, but the matter is this whether it will be success or failure as we can understand is a subjective matter it is not an objective discussion because every individual will perceive the risk in their own way so this is how they will perceive we'll go to that matter later but ne next the question is if we just want to go by um, uh, quantifying so if it's expected value of x is nothing but pr that is probability of uh, occurrence of one x1 that is here we have found out it is one fourth is the probability we have assumed if it's a head and tail um, and half and half is the case then it will be half isn't it so pr1 x1 plus pr2 x2 that is the probability of the two and x2 and if n possible outcome this is we have assumed with an two probabilities with an n possible outcome this will be the format pr1 x1 to pr and x and then finally we found out the value of expected value which we uh, with the 250 rupees 1 4th 400 plus 3 4 200 we get 250 rupees per share and it is this is the expected value with these two possible outcomes with the respective values of the share in the two possible situation so that's all we have discussed the describing risk with the expected values and probabilities and then we will be finally going to the next section of variability thank you